Hello guys, this is what I have for you today. This is a very interesting gunpowder horn or powder horn. It is a very nice antique item. I believe dated from around 1850 to 900. The powder horn is completely handmade. I feel very lucky that I can get my hands on this amazing item. A person came in my store, uh, he told me that uh, his father brought this from Russia. Let's take a closer look at what we have. Okay guys, here it is. The gunpowder horn. And all its glory. Let's start from the top part and go on to the bottom. So here is firstly the complete uh, gunpowder horn from close. As close as I can get it. Let's examine it together. On the top part we have a brass ornament which is closing the top part of the horn with a nice cap attached with a chain so that you don't lose it. You fill the horn with black powder. We have some kind of corrosion here going on, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. With some kind of coloring around it. On the front side here we have many flower design engravings, a dot-like engraving around the whole circle. The same goes for the cap, it has this uh, nice handmade dots and inside a line of fine engravings in a circle. It is attached with a few rivets here, 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 all around it. That's what's holding it to the horn. Here is the horn, it's probably some kind of kettle horn. The core it has is um, white and black with some brown spots here and there. You can see here that the, that the kettle itself was in some battles before becoming a gunpowder container. On the front side we have a brass incrustation of a bird standing on a tree. That gives us the idea that this item probably belonged to some hunter or was given as a military reward to some officer who was into hunting. Here we have the same brass attachment attached with a few rivets. Here is the most interesting part. Imagine the whole horn full with gunpowder right until here because here is the closing mechanism. So whenever you press this button it closes up the income of additional gunpowder and it opens up this exact dosage of gunpowder. It flows through this uh, the hole here it gives you an exact dosage for your rifle. Then when I release the lever here, it automatically closes. Here is a close shot of this tiny mechanism, which is very interesting, mainly based on this spring here and this little bridge. Here you can see how it opens up and then closes back. Here is the fine spring I'm talking about. Even the lever is made in a very nice shape. Alright guys, I hope that you found this video to be interesting and see you in the next one.